Today, we are going to talk about a place that has the reputation of being the best restaurant in Dollywood. We have really fallen in love with Dollywood in the last few years. This park is well known for its celebration of music, country, bluegrass, and southern gospel especially, but all music in general. It is known for great theme park rides, including fun family rides, and also intense, heart-pounding thrill rides. But really good theme parks are often also known for great dining options that elevate typical theme park food to something much more delicious. And that is certainly the case at Dollywood. Now they do have some typical theme park offerings like Red's Drive-In, a 50s themed quick service restaurant where we ate burgers and fries that were just okay. And there is standard quality theme park pizza to be had. But the park is also known for a treat so good that people stand in long lines for it. A treat so good it has its own merchandise. I am talking, of course, about the amazing Dollywood cinnamon bread. And they have a lot of other great baked goods too, like the 25 pound apple pie that you can buy for over $200. No one actually needs a 25 pound apple pie, but it is vacation, so maybe you'd at least like to try a slice of it. And in addition to the usual treats served year-round, you can find seasonal treats to celebrate whatever time of the year that you find yourself in Dollywood. Previous to our most recent visit, we tried Miss Lillian's Smokehouse for some good barbecue, and we really enjoyed both the food and spending a few moments with the iconic Miss Lillian herself. But there are several other restaurants we've wanted to check out yet, but haven't. We passed all those by on our recent trip though, because so many people told us we have to try Aunt Granny's Restaurant, which was voted as one of the top 10 theme park restaurants in the US. This restaurant is named after Dolly Parton herself. Her nieces and nephews call her Aunt Granny because of the role Dolly played in helping raise her younger siblings. Aunt Granny's is an all-you-care-to-eat family-style restaurant. The restaurant does not take reservations and there can be a long line on busy park days. We were there on a weekday in autumn and only waited about 15 minutes for a table. Once your party is seated, you choose three entrees and four sides for your table to share from the menu. Each person at the table also gets to choose their own dessert. There are occasionally seasonal options. For instance, citrus glazed ham was on the fall menu and it's not usually on the year-round menu. The Dollywood website indicates that has now been replaced with oven-roasted turkey breast as an offering for the Christmas season. After ordering, every table gets a tray of garlic cheddar biscuits, which were tasty. And then, after a wait of about 20 minutes, our server began delivering dish after dish of Southern Comfort food. And since this is all you care to eat, as you empty the dishes, your server will bring you more. That was not a problem we had, though. This was delicious food, but one round was plenty for the two of us.
The three entrees we chose were fried chicken, which was our favorite, pot roast, and citrus glazed ham. We liked all of these. After the fact, we read reviews of Aunt Granny's and many of the reviews were raving about the fried catfish, so we're kind of wishing now we had tried that. But all of the entrees we ordered were great. Our sides were mashed potatoes, cabbage, southern green beans, and creamy mac and cheese, which was my favorite part of this meal. For dessert, I ordered the pumpkin bread pudding. It was pretty good. I really liked the topping more than the bread, but it was good. Jack got banana pudding, which is always a favorite of his. This family style meal was $26.99 per person for adults and $10.99 per child under 10. You will enjoy this place if you enjoy great southern comfort food and would like to have a comfortable place to sit in the air conditioning or at this time of year in the heat for an hour or so while you enjoy your meal. You may not enjoy this place if you don't like family style meals where you have to decide as a table what to order or if you don't want a long dining experience to take away from your fun in the park. We don't often stop for a meal at a table service restaurant inside a theme park because our time is limited in the park and we want to make the most of it. We made an exception here because we had heard great things about this restaurant and those reviews were right. But including the time waiting to get in and then waiting for our food and eating, we spent about an hour and a half of our day at Aunt Granny's. If you're the type of person who will spend that 90 minutes thinking of everything you're missing in the park, then you should probably grab a corn dog at a snack kiosk and just keep it moving. We haven't tried every restaurant in Dollywood yet, so we can't tell you for sure that this is the best. But if you don't mind investing some time in the experience, we can tell you Aunt Granny's is a really great restaurant. Click the links at the end of this video to check out our recent visit to Dollywood's new resort hotel, Heartsong Lodge, or to see our experience at Dollywood's Smoky Mountain Christmas last year. This year's version of that fantastic Christmas event started November 4th, 2023, and continues now through January 6th, 2024. I'm Alice. And I'm Jack. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so we can see you the next time we're traveling through.